Hey, what's up everyone? Cody Brown here from West Virginia Archives and History with today's edition of Mountain State History, West Virginia Geography. Before we get into today's lesson, we must first give geography a functioning definition. Geography is the study of places and relationships between people and their environments. We're going to figure out our surroundings and where things are found in West Virginia in relation to ourselves and other places around the state. Next, let's go over some basic geographical terms that will help us throughout our studies. First, let's discuss absolute location. This term refers to your precise location on Earth's surface. For example, my absolute location is 1900 Canal Boulevard East, Charleston, West Virginia. The address of your school or home that you're watching this video from will indicate your absolute location. Next, relative location. This describes where a place is in relation to another place. For example, if you're watching in Morgantown, your relative location to Charleston is about 150 miles northeast. You can use this term in everyday life by telling someone, yeah, I live about two blocks away from the gas station on Main Street. Both definitions and terms suffice. West Virginia's unique shape, characterized by two panhandles, presents some pretty interesting boundaries between several of our neighbors. The northern panhandle lies between Pennsylvania to the east and Ohio to the west, while the eastern panhandle separates Maryland to the north and Virginia to the south. Next, let's talk about West Virginia geography compared to the rest of the country. West Virginia is 41st in terms of size, encompassing 24,231 square miles. But if you're desperate for a road trip, the furthest you can travel within the state north to south is 237 miles, and the furthest east to west is 265 miles. All right, so let's review, guys. What is geography? What states border West Virginia? What is absolute location? What's yours? How would you describe your relative location to your school? What two states does the northern panhandle divide? What about the eastern? Now that we've got some of the basics down pat, let's dive a little bit deeper and examine some of the characteristics of West Virginia's climate and the natural wonders of our beautiful state. So let's eliminate any confusion over climate and weather. Weather is to determine the day-to-day -day conditions in an area. For example, your local meteorologist might tell you today's high in Parkersburg is 88 and sunny. Climate, on the other hand, is the average condition in your area based on past years. Climate impacts what kind of businesses your area attracts, homes people build, what kind of crops can be grown, or something as simple as the clothes you buy for school. West Virginia's climate is defined as humid continental. We have four distinct seasons, Anybody who's lived in West Virginia long enough knows this to be true. When you're on the water at Summersville Lake in July, it's likely pretty hot, maybe even reaching temperatures in the 90s. But the opposite is true in the wintertime when you're probably waking up early to see if you've got that two-hour delay or snow cancellation. The stark differences in temperature throughout the state in January compared to July, you can see that the further north you go near cities like Wheeling and Weirton, average temperatures can be below 28 degrees in January and climb up to 50 degrees warmer by July. Now that we understand climate, Let's talk about some of the amazing natural wonders that can be found right here in West Virginia. First, let's talk about valleys. West Virginia has several incredible, beautiful valleys within its borders, most notably Canaan Valley. This area is now well known for its attraction to winter sports enthusiasts, but when the first explorers reached this area in the 1700s, the explorers thought so much of its beauty that they thought it was the biblical land of Canaan. West Virginia is home to several magnificent waterfalls, most notably Black Waterfalls in Tucker County. Blackwater Falls rises 65 feet over the Blackwater River, getting its name from the acidity of decomposing hemlock and red spruce needles, giving the river its unique appearance. West Virginia is also very attractive for spelunkers. The mountain state has the fourth most caves in the United States and 11 of 50 of the world's longest. But if underground rocks aren't your thing, try amazing rock formations above ground, most notably Seneca Rocks in Pendleton County. Finally, let's talk about some of West Virginia's beautiful waterways several of which make up natural boundaries, such as the Ohio River and the Tug Fork River. Come to the interior of the state and explore lakes such as Sutton Lake or Summersville Lake that are attractive tourist options in the summer. All right, everyone, now that we have a little more in-depth knowledge about the geography of West Virginia, let's test that knowledge. Define humid continental. Name five West Virginia waterways. What's the difference between climate and weather? What was the name of the Tucker County waterfall that got its unique collar from the decaying of hemlock and red spruce needles? What is spelunking? 
Why is this a prominent tourist industry in West Virginia? All right, we've knocked out some of the basic geographical terms as well as some of the features that can be found throughout the state. Now we're going to examine the geographic regions of West Virginia, the Potomac section, the Allegheny Highlands, the Allegheny Plateau, and the Ohio Valley section. First, based off this map, can you identify which geographic region you live in? Excellent. Now that we have that established, let's break down some of the characteristics of each region. First, the Potomac section. Considering the country was settled east to west, it makes sense that the Potomac section was the first region settled by Europeans in present-day West Virginia. The ruralness and rolling farmlands characterized by this region and its relative location, yes, remember that word, to D.C. and Baltimore make it an appealing home for city workers looking to get away from the hectic lifestyle of the city. The borders of this region are defined by both man-made and natural features. The Fairfax Stone, situated at the headwaters of the North Branch of the Potomac, became part of a land dispute between Virginia and Maryland, which was not resolved all the way until 1912, long after West Virginia separated from Virginia. The United States Supreme Court sided with West Virginia, and the stone marks the western border of Maryland, as well as the conjunction of Grant, Preston, and Tucker counties. To the west of the Potomac section is the Allegheny Highlands region. This region is characterized by mountains and higher elevations that gave West Virginia its nickname, the Mountain State. Within the Allegheny Highlands can be found some of the state's most picturesque views, including Spruce Knob, West Virginia's highest peak. Furthermore, some of West Virginia's most interesting natural wonders are found within this region, including Seneca Rocks, Lost World Caverns, Smoke Hole Caverns, and Dolly Sods. The ruggedness characterized by the Allegheny Highlands has left this region thinly populated. Moving further west, you'll find the Allegheny Plateau, typified by an elevated tract of more or less level land. In layman's terms, it's elevated, but not to the degree that the Allegheny Highlands are. The most notable site within this region, though, is the New River Gorge, arguably the most iconic structure in the state. Additionally, this region offers breathtaking views high above the New and Gauley Rivers along the Midland Trail at places such as Hawks Nest and Anstead. The Allegheny Plateau is also home to West Virginia's capital city of Charleston, home of one of the most beautiful capital buildings in the United States. Lastly, West Virginia's westernmost region, the Ohio Valley section, is a long and thinly stretched region reaching from the northern Panhandle down through river towns such as Wheeling, Parkersburg, Ravenswood, Point Pleasant, and Huntington. This region is characterized by being multifaceted industrially, including industries such as glass, steel, and textiles. The Ohio Valley section is also home to several wildlife refuges that protect a range of plants and animals. Furthermore, the Ohio River Valley is rich in history, with the famous Blennerhassa Island near Parkersburg serving as the cornerstone attraction to the area. All right, everyone, we think you've got a pretty good start on West Virginia geography, but just to make sure, we're going to test that knowledge one last time. So, what are the four geographic regions of West Virginia? Which geographic region is the New River Gorge located? What are the characteristics of the Allegheny Highlands? Which geographic region borders Ohio? What is the Fairfax Stone? I'm Cody Brown. For everyone here at Archives and History, thanks for watching Mountain State History, West Virginia Geography. We'll see you next time. First, let's discuss absolute location. This term refers to your exact lo lo All right. I got to look side with the globe. Finally, West Virginia has several unique waterways. <laughs> I feel like the outtakes of a comedy movie or something. <laughs> There's no water in West Virginia, kids. <laughs> it does not exist. Ugh. I feel like Mia Hamm in the 99 Olympics. I'm just going to rip my shirt off. <laughs>